What's good? What's good? We are back. Yours truly, the one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast. And today I'm going to react to Value Tainment. Um, react to PayPal sending out an email about finding people $2,500 for misinformation, which is crazy. And I'm definitely going to share an experience that I had with PayPal, which makes me feel like I was so far ahead of the curve. But before we do that, let's give you a word from one of our sponsors. That's right, that Dizzle. Do you Dizzle? Yes, I Dizzle. As you see, I'm rocking the Dizzle merch right now. Check them out, DizzleBrand.com. Dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur, a mixture of agave tequila, French cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Just throw your Dizzle on ice, and it's nice. Go to DizzleBrand.com, click on our locations, and click one of the top three links. You can order your very own bottle or bottles. A Dizzle Premium Luxury Decor must be 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. And below that is actual store locations that Dizzle is located in California, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Arkansas. Coming soon to a state, city, and town near you. Um, okay, let's roll up this Patrick Bet David. Hey, pal. Um, comes out a couple days ago, and uh, uh, this is a story, PayPal user agreement, agreement finding users up to $2,500 for promoting misinformation was sent in error. Spox says the updated PayPal acceptable use policy effective November 3rd included an expansion of prohibited activities, which includes the ending, posting, or publication of messages, content, or materials. That meets certain criteria. According to the updated PayPal user agreement, the company states that each violation could result in liquidated damages of $2,500 per violation, which would be withdrawn directly from their account. However, when contacted by Fox Business, a PayPal spokesperson said that the acceptable use policy notice went out in error and that the company will not find users the information, which, by the way, here's what I want you I got to pump the brakes. Like... How does something go out in error? It already went out. It went out. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, it went out in error. Okay. No, it didn't. Because it went out. That means somebody took the time to write it and put it together. But I digress. All right, so... Here's what I want you to do because of what was said yesterday. Go. So so if we can get well, the camera on to look, show this. Look, this is why she thinks it's fake because Google is real time editing the search engine results. Yeah. results. This is why you don't use Google. This is straight up propaganda. Go explain to me what you mean by this, though. Explain to me what you mean by this. So this, they did this first with uh, Robert Malone and the theory he had about um, – Oh, son of a guy. Can't get the Taking the, like, the uh, mass magnet. formation yeah. psychosis. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, It was when they first started doing this. What this says is they are editing the search results real time. It looks like the results below are changing quickly. If the topic is new, quote unquote, it can take time for reliable sources <laughs> to publish information. Check the source. Are they a trusted topic? Come back later. Other sources might have more information Yahoo in a few hours. Or but day. by the way, let's go to Snopes. Click on Snopes because uh, you got to see what Snopes says. So zoom in a little bit so everybody can see it. So the article says what? No, PayPal isn't planning on finding users $2,500 for posting misinformation. So the average person doesn't read the entire article Ever. to see what's being said. They only read the top. But as you go lower, you'll see who 
Let me read the top. Hang on. I want to read this whole thing so the audience sees it. Here's what you should know about a since-deleted document supposedly outlining changes to the platform user agreement. Go a little lower. Supposedly. Yeah. Exactly. Supposedly. Yeah. In October 22nd, a document of providing <laughs> advance notice of changes to PayPal users noticing supposedly. Uh, uh, included a new rule about misinformation on the app, spurring news headlines and messages to Snopes asking what exactly the perpetrated uh, uh, change would mean. The document outlining PayPal's acceptable such and such agreement, uh, uh, sending posting, we just read that to you, and a $2,500 fine, we read that to you as well. Watch the however part, and then look what happens from there. However, users concerned about the uh, uh, purported, uh, how do you pronounce that? Purported. Word? Purported change can relax. No such provision can relax. No such provision about misinformation is actually being added to the service user agreement, according to a PayPal spokesperson. In an email to Snopes, the spokesperson said the document didn't accurately reflect upcoming changes to the platform policies. So, again, most people, 80% by that time when they read it, I told you it's fake, it's not really happening, they don't finish the entire article. An AUP notice for the U.S. recently went out in error. That included incorrect information. PayPal is not finding people for misinformation. And this language was never intended to be inserted in our policy. We're sorry for the confusion. What? This has caused. Pat, connect the dots for me. What is misinformation? I assume that has to do with what you know, well, social but, media, but, but think, Twitter, yeah. but Instagram, think about, but think about and PayPal. But yeah. think about exactly. There's they that's, got what, that's what I'm trying yeah. to connect the dots. The here. whole question you yes. have to ask is. Why the timing now when it's exactly. four, three weeks away from what? What event is coming up? Terms, exactly. Okay. So keep going. It's unknown if or to what extent. Ex Why the timing? Um, the timing is because, think about it, lectures are coming, and now they can't um, control suppressing information on all the social media platforms because Elon owns Twitter now, so it'll only be able to suppress you know, Google, YouTube, probably um, Instagram, Facebook. I doubt they're going to be able to suppress information on TikTok since China owns TikTok. Why the timing now when it's exactly. four, three weeks away from what? What event is coming Election up? Election terms. Okay. Exactly. So keep going. It's unknown if... Or to what ex extent other portions of the document were indeed upcoming changes to the plan? It's unknown. What do you mean it's unknown? It was publicly released. Additionally, we asked PayPal for an explanation of how and why the erroneous language about misinformation on the app was posted. But we received no reply. Okay, who's going to read all the way here? But we received no reply no apart from the boilerplate statement quoted above. As of this writing, PayPal has deleted the entire document from its website. Uh, nonetheless, enough people had already seen it or heard of it creating a social media campaign. Okay, so now watch this. David Marcus, it's hard for me to openly criticize a company I used to love and gave so much to. But PayPal's new AUP goes against everything I believe in. Mm -hmm. A private company now gets to decide to take your money if you say something they disagree with. Insanity. FYI, do you know who that guy is? Who? He's the Marcus. former president of PayPal. And you know who else he is? Oh, wow. Hardcore liberal. Oh, He's wow. followed by all the main liberal folk. This is not a Republican. Mm -hmm. This is not a conservative. This is somebody that's on the left, okay, who said this. Then right below, Elon Musk says, agreed. Keep going. Kevin Jenkins, every company has the right to be woke, and I have the right to boycott these pathetic companies. PayPal account closed. Account Go closed. to the next one. There's more, by the way, on the bottom. So now here's what I want you to do. Go to stock market, and let's look at PayPal stock, how it did on Monday. Oh, yeah, this is just Type in PayPal stock. Probably PayPal. Not so uh, look how much you have they to lost. see this. Look how much you have they to lost. see this. One day, they lost $5 billion wow. yesterday. Wow. Just so you know that. PayPal wow. lost $5 billion just yesterday. Not okay. the type of PR you, you know, need. Not you, know why? And, and, you know why? Because they were spreading misinformation. And <laughs> FYI, here's what's crazy. Uh, <laughs> PayPal stock right now is what? $84, 84. give or take, eighty four fifty two. You know what it was a year ago? What? 273 Oh, damn. From 273 to 84.52. So when I posted this. All right, so I heard enough. Um, pretty much, I feel like I was f far ahead of the curve on this one. I've been shut down my PayPal account uh, probably a couple years ago. Um, and PayPal has already been screwing people over. Um, as a marketing advertising guy, they've already been screwing over tons of um, promotional companies and stuff. Um and whatnot because sometimes when you do promotions like 
for example, when you run, um, like, say you just, you run some kind of advertising and stuff like that. Like, normally there's not reports, there's just screenshots, so everything's tracked on the back end. It's not like shipping products. You can't put in a, um, a tracking code and stuff like that. So I've had, like, two of my PayPal accounts were um, suspended permanently, and PayPal held, I want to say, $1,200 one time for six months. And the other account had $900, and then they held it for six months where I couldn't access none of my funds. Now, luckily, I had enough funds in my um, cash app and my Bank of America and stuff like that to uh, pretty much, and my chime, to pretty much maintain my bills, you know, and stuff going forward. But um, for a regular person, they wouldn't have. So I would... I, PayPal's been on this jerking people over mode. Um, I'm glad I closed that. Like, I'm actually glad they suspended my accounts because of this. Because this idea that a company can decide that if they don't like something you have to say, they can fine you $2,500. Because that's what misinformation is nowadays. Misinformation is just anything that anybody in the left, Democrats or liberals, disagree with. You know, that they got a problem with, they consider that misinformation. Because liberals are more concerned with feelings over facts, and conservatives and, and Republicans are more concerned with facts over feelings. You know, like, I care more about the facts than somebody's feelings, because your feelings aren't the facts. You know, they're just emotions, and everybody has emotions, and everybody's emotions change. But this is crazy, ridiculous. I know Candace Owens closed her account. This that one guy closed his account. There's like they lost five billion in a day. That means a ton of people closed their accounts. A, a ton of people probably sold off their um, their shares or whatnot. And this is what negative um, stuff does. Like they, a lot of people are saying that PayPal just did this to try to test the waters and see how people were going to react. Well, they see how the reaction was. You lost five billion in one day. Uh, your stocks are, are down considerably. I would never trust PayPal ever again. I was almost thinking about opening up a PayPal account for my clothing line because I'll be able to throw in tracking codes, so they should be able to ban my account, you know. But like marketing, advertising, or music promo companies, oh yeah, they're banning your account. You know what I'm saying? You know what not? Because consumers can sit there and lie and say they didn't get the services. When they did, you know, like if somebody pays me for TikTok influencer marketing, Instagram influencer marketing, what's my real proof to say that, you know, I paid the the other Instagram influencer or the TikTok influencer to do the marketing for them? Because that's how it works. You pay me for TikTok influencer marketing and I pay TikTok influencers, you know, the only proof of me showing them is receipts of me paying TikTok influencers. But still, that's still not an, enough to go off of. It's still like my word versus their word. And that's the thing. There's a lot of dishonest consumers in the consumer business. I would argue there's just as many consumer scammers as there is um, companies that are scamming, if not more. Because I've been also consumer scammed with my new little apparel where people used stolen credit cards to buy new little apparel which they were, could have probably probably sell the clothing, you know, to somebody hand-to-hand or whatnot. I, or they were going to keep it, wear it. I don't know. I just know this is crazy ridiculous. I know PayPal screwed me over twice. I don't even use them no more. I use Square, Amazon Pay, Cash App, Venmo, and Zelle, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, screw PayPal. That's my opinion. Um and thank you for tuning in. This is the Paul Pickett Podcast, and I'm out.